Thanks for tuning in. And today I want to talk about my mini EDC items that I threw in this little pouch here. But before I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm almost at 700 subscribers. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I'll link all the items below in the description if you wanna go check them out for yourself. Unfortunately, the pouch itself, this is the Gentle Stash Pocket Organizer, has been discontinued, I believe. So I will link a few other pouches that you might be interested in. So let's get started. So this is the Gentle Stash Mini Pocket Organizer. I did a review of this. It was actually the first video that I uploaded to this channel. I'll link up above if you wanna go check that out. And in the front I have the Boker Magnum Little Friend Micro Fixed Blade Knife. And it is a micro knife with a blade that's a little over an inch long, full tang jimping on the top and the bottom, really nice G10 handle slash scales and made of 440A steel. Little cutout for your finger and you can get about two and a half fingers on here and you have a lanyard loop here so you can use paracord to extend the grip if you want it. So great for cutting up fruit, peeling oranges, maybe uh, opening some nuts and letters. Great to show off to your friends. You can wear it around your neck with the included sheath or just throw in a pocket like this. Now we flip it over to the back and we have a little slip joint knife. This is the ride, Rough Rider Desert Fox. It's got two blades that lock in two different positions. And this one is the main blade. It's a clip point blade, really nice for just a small, cutting up small objects and also a little pen blade, again, just for maybe um, opening up letters or something like that. So I love these little slip joint knives because uh, they're very inexpensive, they're very stylish. And also this one reminds me of a pocket knife that my dad used to own. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. So it's great to just have that kind of reminder with me everywhere I go. Over here, I have the Night Eyes Doohickey Keychain Multi-Tool. And you can see it's got lots of different functions, a bottle opener, a pry bar slash screwdriver, a ruler, and then you can also tighten nuts with it. And it's got a little um, clip here so you can attach it to your keychain or belt. So really nice little item to have with you in those instances where you just need to open a bottle or something like that. <clears throat> Let's look on the inside and see what we have. Back here we have a, another multi-tool. This is a, in the form of a credit card. <clears throat> this actually came in as part of a survival tin, a really cheap one for $15 that I got from Walmart. And I was surprised that this was included in there along with a compass, a whistle, and let's see, a fire starter and some first aid supplies. So really cool. Uh, it's actually feels very sturdy. You've got 11 different tools slash functions, I believe. Yes, you do. And so you have a little blade up here. It's not too sharp, a serrated edge, can opener, bottle opener. Again, you can tighten some bolts with this, a little screwdriver there. So really cool that it came with it and also includes this little faux leather case. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble getting back in here, but ah. <clears throat> and so um, just really cool to have that in the pocket back here. <clears throat> And then on the other pocket, I have the Write in the Rain notebook. These I just got in, they come in a six pack and you can just write down notes or scribble down things, uh, jot down little things for yourself. It's perforated. And then if, they, if it does get wet, uh, the ink won't rub off. Now, if you do wanna write in the rain, you do have to use their proprietary pens. I just ordered a couple that will be here next week. So I will do a review of those along with just uh, some other EDC pens. I, I definitely will include this pen because, you know, it's a ch very cheap pen. It was just kind of included in one of my other notebooks that I bought. But I just really like the look of it, and it writes very well. And so that's why I keep it in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I have this little pull cutter or box cutter. It opens up like that. I think this is mainly used to cut the seatbelt if you're in an accident and need to get out quickly. Uh, but it is very sharp. It's got a serrated edge as well as the hook hook cutter here. And you open it with this little button. Uh, at first, I was a little weary that this might open accidentally if I like if you had it on your keys. It does have a clip to hook to your keys. But you do have to actually apply a lot of pressure to open it. So no worries there. And just a little really cool um, item to have, not only to cut seat belts, but it can cut rope. It can cut line, it can cut thread, lots of different things. Paracord, it works on paracord, so that's why I keep it in here. 
Next, I have the Mr. Green EDC nail clippers, I guess you could say, slash multi-tool. And these are awesome nail clippers, very, very sharp. Actually, I've cut myself uh, several times just by opening it, so you do have to be careful. And um, not only does it have the nail clippers, but it has some scissors. I did a test of these scissors and they cut really well, actually, as well as the Victor ones on my Victorinox, as well as the main blade here. And it's the blade is also very sharp, as well as a bottle opener, a nail file, and a little screwdriver. So great little multi-tool to have, all stainless steel construction. Sometimes I rub this almost like a worry stone. As you can see, it's it's got a lot of scratches on it because I do use these every other week to cut my nails. Next, I have this little vintage multi-tool from the Sheffield Company, and it Basically, that's what it is. It's a vintage multi-tool, very small in size, so not the most practical, but you can tighten little bolts with it. Maybe you can use this to maybe hold, hold like a nail while you're hammering something so you're, you don't get your fingers in the way. Uh, it's got a nail cutter, and on this side you have the main blade, a nail file, as well as, let's see, an awl back here, and then a, I think this is a flathead screwdriver on that side. And then you've got <clears throat> some scissors. Again, these scissors actually really work well uh, because the blades are so short, it just takes a little longer if you're cutting a larger piece of paper or something like that. A Phillips head, smaller flat head, and I think this is a can opener. So really nice tool set here. And I just really like the feel of this all stainless steel. And I got this off eBay. I don't know. Um, when I will use this, I have used it like a, a, a few times, just uh, the screwdriver on this to open up little screws on the back of my uh, kids' toys when they need to change the batteries. Uh, the scissors, obviously, they work well, but they're just so small, and I have the ones on my Victorinox and other places. So, um, But it's cool to have, and I just like to just keep that in there. <clears throat> this is the Lumentop EDC-01 flashlight. I did a review of this, which I'll link up at the top. And it's a great little keychain flashlight. It's got three different modes. So you twist it on to cycle through the different modes. It's waterproof and just a little great little size for your keychain for when you want to when you need to search for your keys in the dark or uh, light your way on a, when you get home to find the uh, key or the lock. Um, just a fun little flashlight. And um, I've, I've ordered a couple other flashlights that I've been testing out. So I will probably be doing like a flashlight video in the future, so be on the lookout for that. And then lastly, I have a pair of EDC tweezers that come out like that, and, and then it retracts with this little button here. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't lock, um, and that's why I took out this blade over here. It does have a blade over on this side, but sometimes when I had it in my pocket, it would deploy and I did get cut on my leg. So it's a little bit, you know, not safe in terms of the, um, I guess, execution. I do wish that there was a way to lock this. There are some other ones from Civivi that do have a locking mechanism. So that would be a little bit more safe. Those are obviously a lot more expensive, probably a little better construction. These were, I think, were $10. The Civivi ones I think are around $26 or $27. And so I don't know if I can justify spending that much on a pair of tweezers, but I love these tweezers. You can obviously remove splinters, pick up little objects or hold things with it, little pieces of paper, things like that. Uh, just a great, fantastic little item to add to my EDC collection. So that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think are mini EDC items worth it. Do you have a collection of them? Uh, let me know, you know what you have and just leave your general thoughts below. And like I said, uh, if you could just subscribe to my channel to get future updates and notifications, that would be awesome. It helped me out a lot and I'd see you in the next video. God bless.